funding cross-border or transnational products uh, is not always, unfortunately, a priority of the political agenda, especially in these times when nationalism is coming back to Europe. With the support from inter programs, cross-border and transnational cooperation can be supported and ensured, and this is important. inter projects help to, help to break down borders, they encourage exchange and they support the development toward, uh, towards a more united Europe and I think we need this. My region, South Tyrol, is a small Italian province in the centre of the Alps bordering uh, to Austria and to Switzerland. It's a particular one because we are a minority, a German-speaking minority living there. And a lot of our citizens cross uh, the border on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, for work, for study, for shopping, for leisure. And therefore, I think we are feeling the border more than others. We see the challenges, uh, we see the different uh, legislation compared to our neighbors. Uh, we feel how important exchange, cooperation, coordination, how important all this is uh, to, and how important it is for our people to have a real exchange uh, with the people on the other side of the border. And Interreg is very, has provided this support in the last years and I hope also in the next years. For example, uh, Linking Alps. This is a project from six Alpine counties which are working on a standardized exchange service for travel information. This should improve and simplify access to travel information like timetables when traveling across borders by public transport. This project has its origins in the Alp and now is implemented through the Interreg Alpine Space Program. I think it's a good example of how Interreg can support the implementation of macro-regional strategies.